Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be focused on your person's current energies towards you, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions or potential actions for the near future. Um, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, Spirit. Messages for Scorpio, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time for Scorpio, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Liking and comment, no, not <laughs> liking, commenting, and subscribing are some of the best ways you can support the channel. All right, Scorpios, let's get into it. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their current energies at this time regarding this connection? Scorpio's person, please. The person that Scorpio is thinking about at this time. What are their energies? Okay, we got the horse. So the horse is very reliable. It goes long distances, very strong. This is like the third sign that has gotten the horse. Um, it symbolizes freedom also because the horse is kind of just free to roam. Um, they can just pick up and leave. <laughs> and they can run them for very long distances. So um, the idea is that you can use a horse to be someone you can count on in order to attain your freedom or um, someone very strong, capable. So your person is probably viewing you in this way as someone very strong and capable, someone very free, maybe a free spirit. What else for Scorpio's person? What else do we need to know about Scorpio's person spirit? whale um i got the whale over here for capricorn i believe very uh deep emotional person the whale the whale is also very wise very um they're very wise due to what they've gone through through you know due to the experiences that they've had um so your person could be having a lot of, first of all, there could be history between you. But second of all, they could have a lot of deep emotions, whether they've expressed them or not. So let's see, what about you, Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio's energies. What are Scorpio's energies towards this person or this connection? Oh, we got the lamb. So you'll be either receiving a message or giving a, a message the lamb is about a spiritual message It's a message that comes to you kind of unexpectedly through uh, a stranger someone you know it's all about kind of being centered and, and and quiet and open to receiving whatever message is coming your way so spirit could be delivering you a message Scorpio there might be something that you need to say as well. But we got the fire ant. So we got a lot of energy here with the fire ant. Drama, possibly conflict here with the fire ant. A lot of action. Almost like if you were to speak up or whatever message you get is going to cause like a disruption. That's what I see so far. So let's get into the tarot and see. First Scorpio, please. What messages do you have? First Scorpio. Regarding this person that they're thinking about. Messages for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, let's start with your person. 
Spirit, what can you tell me about Scorpio's person? Any other insight into how they feel, what they're thinking at this time? Okay, Eight of Swords. Maybe that's why they're thinking about freedom, because they're trapped in their head, trapped by fear, unable to see a way out of their situation. What else for Scorpio's person? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Something could change for your person. What else for Scorpio's person? Uh, the wheel is turning in your person's favor, possibly to help them get out of a situation or make a change. Something is happening. Four of Swords. A lot of thinking. Your person is doing a lot of thinking. Now I'm saying your person because this is your person for me, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. A lot of thinking, reflecting here. Tell me more about Scorpio's person. What do we need to know, Spirit? Oh, that's two. Okay, they want me to take them. Okay, so we got two of cups, nine of wands, reverse. So someone here is giving up the the being guarded um, because they, they have someone in mind. I, I just get the sense that this person is thinking about you, about this connection a lot. They don't want to be as guarded, as defensive, as um, careful as they've been. Maybe they're opening their heart to you to the possibility of this connection. We'll see when I clarify. Tell me about Scorpio. What are Scorpio's energies? Scorpio's energy. What are their energies towards this person? Nine of Cups reverse. So something that had to do with this person it didn't pan out for you like you thought, or perhaps you got your wish, but it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? Oh, Queen of Swords reversed. You're not happy, Scorpio. I have the hermit at the bottom. So I think this is you creating some really strong boundaries. Very emotion emotionally closed off. Extremely It's almost like you didn't get your wish about something and it's made you like a very hard person when it comes to this connection. What else for Scorpio? We got the devil reverse and ace of swords. So the truth will set you free is what I just heard. Clarity, clarity about breaking free of something toxic, this fire ant energy, something that's full of drama, negativity, addictions, whatever it is, I feel like you are taking this sword to cut it out. So let's see. What's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies between Scorpio and this person? going on in this connection spirit death reverse there you are Scorpio reversed someone doesn't want things to change or they don't want things to change I mean to end <laughs> I love how I just repeated myself there <laughs> someone does not want something to end or change 
they're resisting change, resisting an ending. Perhaps there's a delay in an ending or a transformation. Can I get one more, please? What's going on in this connection? Six of Wands reversed, no success or a delayed success and the higher font reversed. This could be a broken commitment. Um, it could be that someone is rebelling against what's expected of them. Regardless, something's not working out here. So let's get into this a little bit more spirit. Help me clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Let me clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Tell me about death reverse. Why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Because four of cups. Someone is bored, disinterested, closed off to any opportunities, anything new coming their way, focused on what has already happened, focused on the past, not on the future. Tell me more about death reverse. It could be that they don't want things to change because they're scared of the unknown, of whatever new opportunity is coming and so since they are scared, they're closed off to doing what they need to do now. Tell me about death reverse, please. Oh, I got two. The world and four of wands reversed. This has to do with possibly someone here needs to move out or move houses. Um, there's probably difficulty fights in the home a lack of harmony in the home wherever they're at and i think they need to have a new a, a new like it's almost like they, they're supposed to wrap up this cycle and have a new one but maybe the whatever is happening in the home is keeping remember this is mutual energy so this could be you or your person it's keeping one of you um from having a new beginning, whatever difficulties going on in the home. It's almost like one of you wants a new cycle and the other one doesn't. It's like one of you is, is not interested in, in ending or, or changing anything and the other one is. I feel like someone wants to be single, independent, and free here. Whoever's dealing with, whoever wants this new cycle wants to do it alone. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Lack of success here or delayed success, which is it? Nine of Swords, lots of disappointment, stress here. Anxiety, fear over what hasn't come together. We have um, Temperance reversed here, Sagittarius energy. Something hasn't come together, um, hasn't been successful, and it's stressing someone out. Tell me more about the Six of Wands reverse. So I feel like both of you, oh, hold on, seven of wands reverse. There's that like lack of resistance, which is very similar to the nine of wands reverse here. Someone no longer wants to fight. It's almost like I'm getting this energy of giving up, but it's for a reason. Someone's giving the fight for a reason because there's something that they want. Something that they're passionate about that attracts them. 
So I'm getting a few different scenarios here. Take what resonates, because remember, I'm reading for a lot of people. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing two possibilities. Um, either you and this person, Scorpio, it has not been successful. It has not been able to come together. Someone's really upset about that. Um, but the other person is ready for a new beginning. They're ready to end this. And, and one of you is resisting. It could also be that one of you, Scorpio, or the person you're interested in, you are ending something in your lives with potentially a third party. The third party does not want things to end. We'll see when I, I feel like your person is the one that's trying to make a change because I have the wheel of fortune here. I have the eight of swords here where it's like they want something to change because they feel trapped. So I feel like that whoever wants to change could possibly be your person. Let's see. Tell me about the eight of swords. Yeah, look at this. Nine of pentacles. They want to be single and free. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. They could be wanting to change something in a commitment. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune? Or they could be wanting to become more financially uh, stable and grounded. This has something to do with the past. Someone's not over what happened in the past. Your person here. Tell me about this. Okay. Tell me about this two of cups, please. Yeah, I feel I feel like this person, when they think about their partner, which I think is you, they want to fix things. They they have the courage now to try to even this out, the strength, the inner strength to try to make something happen here. Tell me about the four of swords. It's like they're able to give now with the Queen of Pentacles too. Tell me about the Four of Swords because she's very generous. She's very giving. The Four of Swords doing here. Page of Cups. So someone here, your person's been thinking and reflecting on heartbreak. What was disappointing to them? What didn't work out? And it's like, it's a motivator. Can I get one more for the four swords, please? Yeah, they're, they're still thinking about the past. That's what they're thinking about, about what didn't work out. And there it's, it's like a motivator for them. Like they need to fix it. They need to make things right. King of swords reverse at the bottom. Ten of swords reversed. Something already ended between you possibly here. Or communication ended between you. Maybe it ended badly. But someone's ready to move on, move forward. Yeah, they've made a decision here. And it's been a, a tough one. Something happened between you. Uh, I feel like you had a difficult ending with this person. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. King of Cups reverse. So whatever you didn't get, it also caused you to feel um, off balance here emotionally. You were very upset or perhaps heartbroken. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. That's too many. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse, please. Ace of Cups. Okay, it has something to do with love. 
Something, you didn't get your wish in love. Something happened. Tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Maybe you got tired of waiting for an offer to come. Maybe you didn't have you didn't have um an opportunity come to you or it was a very slow in coming and you were probably doubting that it would ever come. Tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands. It's almost like you, you thought, I will, I'm going to do it myself then. Or I'm going to take charge. I'm going to be the one that puts in the work here. I've gotten that Eight of Pentacles that fell out twice. Tell me one more for this Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's almost like you chose a, a path. You made a decision. This Queen of Wands made a decision. So it's it's almost like... Out of the out of the disappointment and the heartbreak, you know, it was so disappointing, so heartbreak, heart heartbreaking. <laughs> Can't speak. Um, and your wish was just not granted or not what you thought it was going to be. It it's like you closed off emotionally and decided to just take matters into your own hands here. Can I get one more for this Queen of Swords? Just want to see if they'll tell me what kind of path this was. Okay, so this is what you want. You're manifesting a long-term commitment, family, long-term success, stability. This is what you're you're going to be doing. This is the path. The path that you chose is you wanted to lead you to this. And you weren't going to wait around for anybody else here. Yeah, this is a judgment call that you made. Tell me how interesting. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. It's almost like it's almost like you're both on your own journeys to eventually meet each other, possibly here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? Is this clarity, communication? Definitely communication. Yeah. Clarity, communication, movement. This is that horse energy. Or this fire ant energy too, because I have the, the Knight of Wands here. Very fiery energy. So I feel like you're going to be communicating what you want, what you're motivated to do here. Tell me one more for this Ace of Swords, please. We already know you made a judgment call. You so see, you've had some sort of a, an awakening, a personal wake up call that you're and it's like you're now going after what you want. And in order to go after what you want, you have to break free from something. Yeah, I feel like in your mind, there's a lot of options for you to make this. Oh, to, to put down a burden. OK. Different ways to go about getting to the finish line. Wrapping things up. Can I get one for this devil, please? What's the devil reverse? I wonder if you're looking outside of this person. Knight of Swords, Emperor reverse. Breaking free of something that no longer has power over you. We have the King of Wands at the bottom. You're taking charge. Even if you might not have the full confidence or the resources, even if you're dealing with someone difficult in your life, um, you're still moving. You're still moving and speaking your truth and taking action. This is all about taking action here. These cards are all about action, quick action, fast movement. 